Hello and welcome back to a new video. This will be the first of my solo Elite Dungeon 3 boss guides. So this is the first boss, the Crassian Leviathan. This boss is fairly straightforward with only a few minor uh, things that are worth pointing out and mechanics. But nonetheless, I thought the same with the first boss of Elite Dungeon 1. And I had some really good positive feedback from a lot of people saying that was really helpful to them. Just pointing out a few tips here and there that they hadn't noticed that made the boss fight a lot easier. So starting off with then, this boss has 380k HP and only has about 3 or 4 mechanics. Uh, the first one is don't stand in the middle. It does some pretty vicious fire breathy type stuff that you definitely want to always be standing on either the west or east side. The main mechanic then is it's sort of swiping its head uh, like a moray eel does, which I think is what this boss is based upon, from east to west or west to east. It doesn't always start on the same side, it's completely random so it doesn't matter which side you start. Now basically, as you can see, it's just about being ahead of the game and watching his head for the animation, and it's literally that simple. You'll get an idea of the timing. Um, obviously, once you sunshine, try and get your main two thresholds off, and then it should be around the time for this first spec. Now, this number is randomized, so you can get it very early, you can get it later, just like Araxor or many of the other bosses. Um, the, this is it, and it will do this twice, and it has a one-minute cycle, so basically it will do this spec, You'll then continue do, doing DPS. It will then do this spec again. If you started on the wrong side that the spec came from, obviously swap sides so it doesn't catch you out straight away. Uh, it's much nicer to know when it's coming and then swap to the to the other side once it's done the first spec. Now it will, it will after this rotation has happened twice, it will allow you to a bit more DPS and then it will swap to the south end of its cave slash lair. Two things to note is firstly anticipate as you surge through or just before you surge slash ability to dive through this. It means you don't get stuck in the green stuff which deals damage and also does stun you. Uh, you can obviously freedom if you forget to do this and you do get stuck. I recommend simply just surging and then bladed diving to the end and then the boss repeats this rotation. It doesn't hit you very hard. I think I made a point here. I was using dark form but I didn't pray at all. I just used soul split throughout the whole of this fight and you'll see I managed fine. If you have any questions, queries, check them down below. Other than that, I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one.